Hello folks, this is Mighty Scan here, and we have a new episode of Arcanum. So what we're gonna do is do some of the Iron Clan quest, and of course we will go to Rosenboro and get the book from there and then discover where Sang Yang is. So for the Iron Clan quest, the first thing you should do um, is if you look at your schematics under learn schematics. Even though you're a mage, you can still do this. There's a um, iron key that you can make. And you learn this recipe when you take the quest from one of the dwarves in the Wheel Clan. So it requires a heartstone and mithril. Uh, the heartstone you can get from the Badokan village, which is uh, one of the quests in Kintara will take you there. And mithril you can get from the Wheel Clan. Uh, they sell it there. I happen to save some up that we found in the dredge. So let's go inside here. Let's make the key. All right, it should go into your key ring. If we look at our book here, and we click the keys, yeah, we have key to the iron clan chest. And it's actually this thing right here. So this is the chest. Um, if you read the book passage here, it says it was found in the lair of Belagrim, which is a dragon lair. Um, so we can open it up, and in it, you see these drums. So three drums, and a note. And the note just has a uh, location. Place of the Lost Voices. Alright, so what you have to do now is go to that place. So I'm gonna go there and then we will continue that quest on. Okay, so we have to head to the place of lost voices, so let's do that now. So here we are at the place of the lost voices, which is the place that will tell us how to get into the Iron uh, Clan's entrance. This isn't the Iron Clan's location. I don't think there are any traps in this place. I'm not sure though. All right, so we have um, this like machine here, ancient iron device before you has a number of empty slots in its face. It seems to require additional machinery in order to operate. Okay, so we have to put one of these drums inside of the device. So you start to hear this uh, sound from it um, I do want to warn you that if you put the wrong drum in, uh, you will spawn a lot of mechanized arachnids that will attack you. So be careful with that. Okay, so we have to get the Book of Doran's Truth, which it's actually in the Misk Residence, which we will grab here in a little bit, and that will tell us where the key is and where the actual location is for the Iron Clan. So let's go back to Caledon and get the book. Okay, we are at the Misk Residence, and we now have to go get the book inside of the case. So let's go head inside and do that. It has to be nighttime to do this. She's sleeping. We should be free to get this book as soon as this guard uh, walks away. You can pick lock. She actually has the key on her too if you want to um, steal from her. I'm just going to do unlock cantrip and we get the book. This book is important because it tells us where the Iron Clan actually is. So if we look at the book, this is the wrong one, uh, this one. Uh, it gives us the actual location to the Iron Clan. And it gives us a riddle about how to get into the Iron Clan mines. So that progresses that part of the quest. Um, if we look on our map, we can see the location. Which is uh, here. Secret entrance is... Secret entrance to the Iron Clan. There we go. So it's not too far away. Um, we do need to get the key though which we will do right now. 
Okay, so we're at the first Panari Temple. I just wanted to show you the last component of the uh, Iron Clan quest, which we can't do just yet. Um, this is the key right here. So it says the plaque reads, a strange glass device. This is the glass key that's mentioned in the book. To read the book, uh, we will see that it says, uh, bring with you the key of glass so this is the device now what we have to do is wait for um, the main guy there'll be a guy here uh, Alexander and there'll be two other guys back here that we can talk to um, but that does not trigger until after we go to Sang Ang so right now we can go to Rosenboro and progressed that quest and that's probably the best thing to do right now then we'll pick back up with the iron clan quest at a later time so let's head on over to Rosenboro all right it's Rosenboro let's go to the cemetery which is uh there it is We should still have our shovel on us. Oh, one more. Uh, Gravestone reads, here lies Philip Misk. Okay. Let's get our shovel. What is it that you want? This is the uh, the book. Sang Ang Horror Among the Dark Elves. We now know the location of Sinang. And it goes through the story of what happened um, during Terwelliger's travels. And when he actually met the Dark Elves. So it's a interesting story, interesting read, but we have uh, progressed the main storyline now. So, okay, so we can go there next. Um, there are some quests we can do here in Roseboro, though. Not a whole lot. Uh, this is not a very big town. Uh, there's just a few houses, kind of like a village, really. It's about the size of Shrouded Hills. All right, so here is the uh, Roseboro Inn, it's a big giant building, very close to where you start. Let's go in there. Inside, there are a few things we can do. Let's talk to these guys over here. There's two guys we talk we need to talk to in here. Mask your name. Okay, Jason Guy. This is one of them. So, um, he'll have a quest for us. He's studying the Ring of Brodger. Studying it, why? I've always been fascinated with the Ring of Brodger. It is strange. The histories always mention the Black Spire synonymously with the Ring of Brodger. But its meaning is lost in antiquity. Perhaps it symbolizes the power of the wards. I do not know. I came to study wards and see how they are holding up. Wards? Yes, the rift uh, that Nazdradin created when banishing Aranox required all of the great mages from the Age of Legends to set up powerful wards around the ring in order to keep the rift sealed. Why would they not be holding up? Technology has spread throughout the land at an amazing pace. I feared that its propensity would have caused the wards to weaken. That is why I'm here, to ascertain the strength of the wards. What have you found? The results of my studies are quite puzzling. As I suspected, the wards are weakening, but at a rate much more accelerated than I had originally calculated. Perhaps if the wards fail, I'm sure the great mages place such powerful wards in this place for a purpose. But many years have passed. The, the knowledge has been lost to us. 
I fear if they were to fail, something terrible would occur. That is very uh, worrisome. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you, Mighty Scion? Do you feel magic and technology will ultimately prevail? I have studied many things. I received technological training from the great university in Tarant. I have also studied magic in the wondrous city of Tulla. Through all my learnings, I have developed a theory. What is it? I believe that all things work in cycles. Everything natural goes through cycles of ebb and flow. I believe magic and technology are no different. There is only one major flaw with my theory. What is it? This appears to be in the initial appearance of technology. There is no known history uh, that advanced technology existed before now. As a result, I am unable to prove my theories. An interesting theory, have you searched for so such signs? Extensively and to no avail, say, you are a traveler, if in all your travels you come across any signs of ancient technology, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you would let me know, it would really help me with my hypothesis. I will let you know if I see any. Is there anything else? Um, no. So we actually did find an ancient shipwreck, which shows signs of ancient technology on the Isle of Despair. That's not good enough though. All right, let's talk to this guy now. Hello sir, what's your name? Trevor Linewood, a journalist for the Tarantian. What are you doing here? I'm on assignment, although it's not going so well. Uh, why isn't it going so well? Well, it's supposed to have a s to be simple. Take a picture, get back to rant as quick as I could. Nothing to it, right? Sounds simple enough. Picture of what? The elusive life wyvern. Ever heard of it? No, what is it? It's a uh, legend describes it as a tremendous two leg dragon, wings, claws, the whole bit. The difference with the life I've read is in its attack. What does it do? Apparently every time it strikes, it destroys a bit of its victim's memory. Some sort of venom or something. After enough attacks, the victim can't even remember how to flee. And Lyth, Lyth's got itself an easy meal. Sounds a pretty dangerous creature. Yeah, from my research, I've surmised that very few creatures ever survive an encounter with Lyth. And those few that do, usually don't remember exactly what or who they escaped from. Uh, you think this actually exists? Well, I didn't really believe it. Thought it was all a hoax. I just came up here because my editor, Mr. Wright, wanted a hot story. He thought if we could get a picture of the wyvern, our sales would boom. Turned out to be a hoax, huh? No, that's just it. I've seen it. A truly horrible beast. I caught it, the merest glimpse but that was all I took it was gigantic my heart froze my skin began to crawl I'd swear I even forgot which way I should run sounds horrible you didn't get your photograph I couldn't even snap one shot off it I was that terrified and I'm not going back that's no way I'm going back what am I to do mr. Wright will fire me for certain you just need a photograph, you don't need to confront it? Yes, that's correct, I just need one photograph. But I can't do it, I can't, I tell you. What if I were to take the photograph for you? You, you'd risk yourself to photograph the beast? Why would you do that? Uh, well, the adventure for one, plus I'd be compensated, right? Uh, but of course, I'd be I'm being paid 500 coins for the shot, but I spent part of that in supplies so far. I wouldn't be able to pay you any more than 300. 300 for a skim. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I could do it for 300. I'd really like to see the beast. Here, take my camera. All you need to do is get within visual range of the light, then use the camera on it. After that, I'd run like the wind. Here, I'll mark the map with the location 
One more thing, I have heard rumors that the old bridge exists somewhere near that location. I did not have a chance to look for it, but it may be of interest to you, an adventurer like yourself. Thanks Trevor, I'll get that photograph for you in no time. Alright, so that's pretty much it for Rosenboro. Um, just these two guys. There's another quest, but it's for uh, halflings and gnomes. Um, it's a you can go to a cave nearby, and it's it's made for smaller uh, races. So we don't have the ability to do that since we're elves. Um, and I don't have shrink spell learned, so I'm not going to do that. Let's go to our map. And the, let's see, oh, Lithe Wavern Sighting, there we go. Alright, so we just follow this little path here. The camera should be on me. Yeah, there it is. I'll put it on my little uh, hotbar here. Uh, is this it? Yep, that's it. Let's take a picture of it. Alright, we got our picture. Simple as that. What level is he? He is... Level 45, that's not too bad. There's a bridge here. That we can use to cross the river. Um, this will help get us to Sang Ang. All right, so we can cross the river here, and then we can go back to uh, Rosenboro. Um, what we can do as well is just teleport back. <laughs> Let's go give the camera to the guy, and I think we're going to be done with Rosenboro. For now, we have to come back here because the Ring of Brodger. Hello Trevor, or oh, I've got it, I got it. You got it, oh my, I'm so excited. You don't know how helpful you are. You've been. Here, let me see my camera. Mr. Wright is going to be so thrilled. Glad I could be of service. Now compensation. Yes, here you go. Thank you. Um, what of the bridge? Did you see any signs of it? I did, thank you. It definitely saved me a lot of time. That's wonderful news. I'm sure the existence of that bridge has been lost for years. It will surely spread travel, speed travel. Yeah, the alternative route, if you were to go by land, would be to um, go through the pass. There actually is a pass. It's about right here. We'll have to go there later, so I can show it to you later, but it's called Gargoth's Pass. So actually, you have to go to that, then cross the river, then go back up through the uh, the uh, Hardens Pass, and then go to St. Ang that way. Makes a lot, of, uh, a lot of lost time if you're actually walking. Of course, you can take the boat as well from uh, Caledon to... Tarrant. Alright, so that's that quest done. Okay, so there are a few places I wanted to go to, um, to wrap up this episode because if we go to St. Ang, there's a lot of dialogue there. I don't think it would be too much for this, ep for this uh, episode. So there are a few hidden places around here. Um, none too, too spectacular, just uh, small little places we can just visit and uh, get, some, get some stuff from there. We need to go up this way to get out of this town. Alright, so let's look at our map and we can go up to um, this place right here, which is very close by. There's like an ancient uh, ruins here. Alright, let's, uh, let's see, these guys are 15. Yeah, not too bad. Fleshy Mounds. 
Let's give our guy some, uh, where's he at? Oh, he's over there. Wow, he's fast. So this is like an ancient ruins. It's a small place, like I said. Um, we do want to uncover... Let's see, there's a couple places down south we can go to. I do want to get to uh, Bolo's Altar, though, because we will definitely need that very soon when we do the ancient uh, God's quest line, which will give us a lot of buffs before we take on the final battle. I think it's right... There it is. Let's just go right there. Alright, so this is the altar. We'll give we'll do the uh tribute uh later. I just wanted to uncover it so we can come back here uh by teleporting. Okay, so let's go up to um There is another place on the coast I wanna to go to that will help us with the quest. About right there. This place will um get us the Valar Wisp essence that we need for the guy in Kintara. Oh. Okay. There's a cold place. Dude, what is that? A howler. Oh, these are dead. These are very low levels. I don't think he has anything on him. No, he doesn't. Okay. Let's go to... Uh, there's a cold place. I forget what this place is about. We can go there. Oh, there's a uh, giant bear. What is that? Demon Shard. Huh. This may be for a quest later on. Um, I just don't remember what this place is for. I'll look it up. But that's another place you can go to if you wanted to. Let's go here. Old Lagoon. Alright, so there's Old Lagoon. So here's the... Uh, Bear Ancient. Huh. He's neutral. Uh, this is a Will of Wisp. Death Lantern. Neutral. Neutral. Okay. There it is, right there. Falar's Wisp. There we go. That's the one we needed. Slime Demon, huh?
I think we only need one. Alright, Sapphire, Potion of Haze, nice. Alright, one more place then we'll be done with this episode. Let's go to uh, this ruins, which are about here. As soon as you get close enough to it, it'll pop up. There it is. It took us there. That's good. Oh, what is this guy? Grim Shade. Level 30. Not too bad. I don't know how fast these guys are. Oh, not too not too slow, I don't actually. All right, looks like we're done here. Let's grab this uh, undefined rope, nice. And a sword. All right, that's gonna wrap up this episode. The next episode, we will go on to Kintara first to turn in all these quests that we have. We will go to Ten Ang and then progress the storyline from there. So I thank you for watching, appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.